Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Baxter Student Ambassador Program webinar. Presenting for us today is Ariane Malakuti Tirani, one of our BSAP finalists from Centennial College. Hi, Ariane, how are you? Good, thanks, Daniel. How are you doing? I'm doing great, thanks. So, just before we get started, I'd like to let everyone know that if you're viewing this webinar on your computer, if you have any questions during the presentation, just type them into the Q&A box or the chat box, which are both found in your Zoom toolbar, and those questions will be answered after the presentation has finished. Okay, Ariane, uh, if you're ready, you can go ahead and share your screen. And I'll let you know when we can see it. There we go, we can see it. Awesome. Thank you. Hi everyone, good afternoon. My name is Aaron and I'm presenting to you about the Colette Throw Company today. Thank you very much for having me. Just before I start, I wanted to tell you a bit about myself. As I said, my name is Aaron and I'm a graduating student of Hospitality and Tourism Administration, currently in my sixth and last semester here at Centennial College. I will be moving to Ryerson University in September to continue in the same field and first get a bachelor and then an MBA. So during my years at Centennial, as you can see in the pictures, they have turned me into a super passionate traveler by taking me around the world in scholarship trips to places such as Kenya and China. And my love for this industry has grown and grown so much that I can't decide to only stick to one company. So I currently am employed by the Fremont Royal York Hotel, Delta Toronto by Marriott, and the Shangri-La Toronto while in school. I have also just finished an internship with Tourism Industry Association of Ontario in the fall. I've got many goals and dreams related to this industry and trying to reach them at full speed. Enough talking about me. Let's talk Colette. This family-owned company that is currently in its third generation has established, was established in 1918 by Jack Colette in Boston, Massachusetts. Their first tour was made up of a Disney bus of travelers that left Boston headed for Florida. The length was three weeks and it costed only $68.50 US. Now, more, now after more than 100 years, this company has offices in the United States, Canada, Australia, and the United Kingdom, and is taking guests from around the world to seven continents. The picture on the left is their first logo. I want to, watch you, I want to show you a video on why people should travel with color. Based on the video we just watched, I want to expand on why should someone choose Colette. First of all, they offer fully guided tours anywhere they go, using local guides which help the local economy. They also have an addition to each of their tours named Sedan Service, which I found very interesting, where a driver comes and picks you up in an executive car and takes you to the airport, and then the same person drives you home when you're back. They also give you worry-free travel as they guarantee their departures with fully refundable travel protection plans and an online portal named Gateway for you with all your documents uploaded in. You're allowed to fully customize your travel with activities you like, and, and they have the option of the options of online booking over the phone or through a travel agent. And finally, nothing beats 100 years of experience, right? I also wanted to take a quick look on Colette's social responsibility side, where they try to make the world a better place through travel by focusing on four key areas. First one is people, which they believe their company would not 
survive without their incredible team. And that's why they offer them a variety of tools to be happy, healthy, and successful, including learning and growth opportunities. Second one is the community, which consists of their nonprofit, the Colette Foundation, supporting worldwide communities in fighting hunger and conducting education initiatives. Talking about travel, they try to make their guests not only enjoy, but also feel good about what they've done by leaving the places they visit as a better place than it was before. And lastly, Colette tries to reduce its carbon footprint and is making responsible decisions to care for our planet, the place we all call home. The Colette Foundation has began the Travel with, with Heart campaign, and with their impact tours, they help people from around the world make an amazing impact on poor communities by teaching individuals, painting walls, etc. Examples of their amazing work can be found through hashtag Colette Cares. I recently talked to their marketing team over the phone, and Colette mostly targets retired couples from around the world who are passionate about travel and want to help make the world a better place. So today, my focus is only what Colette offers in South America, which are currently eight tours, and each will be briefly discussed over the next eight slides. Five are now currently on sale, and they all contain culinary inclusions, cultural experiences, and must-sees. I'm starting with their long, longest tour, and I go lower in days. The first on LinkedIn is the Complete South America, which happens in 23 days and contains 38 meals. There's also a map which shows where the trip starts from, how many nights in each destination, and where it ends. Something that I really liked about their way of giving information on each tour is that they give exact details, including the weather, accommodation, and meals on each day. There's also a star review for most of their tours. This trip of a lifetime takes you across South America, one of the world's most exciting and diverse destinations. It starts in Peru and finishes in Rio de Janeiro. The price details are available on their website, but I won't go into those details for the sake of the time. The second LinkedIn trip Colette offers is named Wonders of South America, which basically travels to the same areas as the first one, but features, uh, but focuses on more UNESCO World Heritage sites and is shorter in number of days. So it's only 17 days and offers 24 meals. Now let's move on to Machu Picchu and the Galapagos Islands. This 15 day long trip takes travelers from Peru to Sacred Valley of Incas then cruises them to Galapagos Island and finishes in Ecuador. Uh, during, during this trip, past comes alive as you travel from the land of Incas to Galapagos Ar Archipelago. This small group tours offers a look into mankind's collective history. Colette also does a series of tours named Highlights of South America, which I'll talk about both. The first one features Andean Lake it's crossing Buenos Aires and Rio de Janeiro and happens during the span of 15 days. Guests will experience the majestic beauty of Andean lakes crossing as they journey from Chile to Argentina across northern Patagonia. They'll spend three nights in Buenos Aires and finish their trip in Rio de Janeiro. This tour is, to, is a fifth, as I said, 15 days and contains 20 meals. Before I talk about the second highlight of South America trip, I'm introducing the cultures of Peru and Bolivia package, featuring a two-night stay at the Uini Salt Flats. The, the adventurers will find archaeological wonders set amidst natural masterpieces, including the majestic Andean Mountains and the largest salt flat in the world. Over 14 days of travel that starts in Peru and finishes with a farewell dinner showcasing Bolivian fusion cuisine in Unini. Uh, as I said, this trip is 14 days and contains 26 meals. The second highlight of South America trip is shorter and combines Buenos Aires, Iguazo Falls, and Rio de Janeiro. Guests will delve into the vivacious sights and sounds of South America while traveling from Argentina's capital to natural wonders of Iguazo Falls 
and finish at a Brazilian style barbecue at one of the one of Rio one of Rio Rio's top restaurants. This trip is 10 days and contains 13 meals. In the next two slides, uh, the next two slides contain Colette's only tours that are focused just on one country, with this one being Peru. Travelers were spent 10 days in the country and they discover Lima's colonial heritage and see why the city of Kings is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This trip contains 16 meals and, and goes over 10 days. And the last tour is focused on Colombia and is also 10 days long. Guests will embark on an incredible journey through the Andean oasis of Colombia and begin a love affair with the vibrancy, spirit, and passion of this emerald of the Caribbean coast. They will then fly over mystic valleys and stand at the foot of Andes in Colombia's verdant coffee region. They will end their trip at the his historic city of Cartagena. They will be provided with 14 meals during this trip. This slides bring my presentation to an end. Thank you all very much once again. And I wanted to say that I really appreciate being here and thanks for the opportunity. Thank you so much, Ariane. Thank you. So of course, we'll allow a few minutes now for people to ask any questions that they may have. Hi, Ariane. Uh, my name is Ian Stalker. I work with Dan. Of all the destinations you um, that were showcased in your presentation, is there anything that you thought looked particularly interesting? Well, uh, based on the, the demographics that Colette targets and based on my own interests, I would really love to try the one that cruises to the Galapagos Islands. I would say because uh, elderly, I'm, I'm pretty sure elderly couples will love uh, sitting on a cruise and then the nature that Galapagos Island offers it's just amazing. So if I, if, I, if I could choose one of these tours to go on, I would definitely go on the Bluff okay. Great, thank you. And Ariane, what would you say was the biggest challenge you faced when preparing for this webinar? Um, first of all, I w it, was, it was a pretty short notice uh, before because I only got a week. And, uh, and as I said, I work at three different hotels while in school. So uh, challenge, it was challenging for me to uh, uh, fight with school, uh, materials, go, go to my work, and also, and also prepare a, a presentation, but I tried my best. Great, thank you so much. Um, you said you, this is Emily, sorry, you said you work at three different hotels and go yes. to school sometimes? Yes. That, and then are you, I, I missed this part, are you saying, are you going to Ryerson next year? Yes, I will be, I, I will graduate this year from Centennial and I move to Ryerson for a bachelor program and then an MBA program. That's great, thanks. Thank you. Very well, much. we really appreciate you. I know we know that it's short notice, and we really appreciate you jumping on uh, and getting everything together so quickly. Thank you very much. I hope it wasn't too bad. No, oh, no, it was really good. Thanks a lot. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Okay, I do believe that's it for the questions, but I would like to thank everyone that tuned in the webinar today. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day. And Ariane, thank you so much for presenting as part of the Baxter Student Ambassador Program. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity again. On behalf of Baxter Media, I would like to thank you for participating in BSAP 2019. We'll be in touch very soon. Sure, thank you. Okay, bye Ariane, take care. You too, bye.